Hello, my name is Christian Witt and I'm one of the responsible product owners for virtualized testing at Vector. And I would like to show you today how you can take a look into your virtual ECU. And therefore I prepared an example and in the background you can see the tool DaVinci Developer, which shows you the application layer of the ECU. In this example you can see here on the right side the output of the ECU, on the left side you can see the input and in the middle the main logic software component. And now let's imagine we are in an early development state of the ECU and maybe a software component is not ready configured or simply not there. So to illustrate that, let's remove that software component. And what is left is only one port and this port is not connected anymore to a software component or to a system signal via data mapping. We call that an open port. And Weaver Target detects automatically all the open ports on your application level and creates interaction possibilities for that. This is one way how you can take a look into your virtual ECU. Another way is the port monitoring. In port monitoring, we are focusing closed port connections. And here to monitor a closed port connections, you have to configure the VTTPM file, the VTT port monitoring file. And in that, you have defined the ECU and the port path to the port that you want to monitor. Okay. Then let's take a look to the Visual Studio solution created by Vivitrol Target or the application sources. Here you can see the runnable light control, which is one runnable uh, of our uh, ECU. And what you can see here is that we are reading over the RTE interface of the port, the open port, um, the uh, calibration value. And what Vivitrol Target does here, when we take a look into that method, is Vivitrol Target redefines for you on the RTE layer um, that method to a new method created by Vivitrol Target. So Vivitrol Target patches for you the RTE layer. And in this method, we are reading now the system variable from Canu. So on the application layer, there is no impact. Vivitrol Target patches directly for you the RTE layer. And on the application layer, you can use the typical RTE interfaces of your port. And the same we do also for port monitoring. Okay, let's go, let's go to Canoo. Canoo in this case is the execution environment and I have added already our virtual ECU to that. On the right side, we see the symbol explorer where we can see the system variables of our ECU. And if we go under the namespace RTE, we can see now here the two ports. One is the error port, which we wanted to monitor, this one here. And the other one is the open port, the CAL threshold port, which we wanted to stimulate because it's a receiver port. And for both ports, we can see here the port members as system variables in Canu. And these system variables can now be mapped to a panel or, for example, to a test unit. I have mapped these two elements here to this panel here and this error code uh, port and member to this uh, lamp here on the panel. Now let's start the simulation. And now I will do a misconfiguration um, by doing by changing that system variable and changing then in the end this port here on the left. And what I would expect now is that we get an error. So we have monitored that error port and we can see here over that lamp now that this port element has changed or this value has changed. Okay, let's summarize. So v virtual Target provides you two possibilities or more, but these two here um, to take a look into your virtual ECU. One is the open port feature, uh, which allows you to get interaction possibilities for all the open ports on your application level. Another possibility is the port monitoring feature. Both features are only available with v virtual Target Pro and not with the basic license. If you have any further questions to that topic, please do not hesitate to contact us or take a look to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.